All right, we're going to demonstrate the functionality of the safety bar. First, we're going to do a little overview of the system. This air switch will be mounted on a dash there along the side, similar to the electrical side. And that's the main controller of the safety bar. That's the only control of the safety bar. And the reason why is so that the user can manually control uh, when it opens and closes. And because it's air, um, it will always work regardless of any electrical or any other system. There's also springs built in. Let's see if you can see those. So there's one big spring there. And there's one big spring there. There's also a spring down on the lock system there. And on the lock system on that side. And so... Should you lose air, um, it automatically unlocks. And because of the springs, it will easily lift up. Now, I don't want it just popping up just because you lose air. Uh, maybe your head or arms are in a wrong position and causing a pinch point. So it stays down, but it lifts very, very easy. I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and we'll demonstrate it without air, and then we'll put air to it and demonstrate the functionality okay, I'm there. I'm gonna show how easy this safety bar right here that comes over the user, how easy that opens when there is no air in the system. Um, right now it's in neutral, or it's in the zero position on the switch, which locks air flow from both ways. And so if I was sitting in there and locked in there, um, first I would turn this air switch to either direction. doesn't really matter where. I uh, will choose that side just arbitrarily. Um, then we can just reach in here. And I'm just going to use my finger and you can see how easy that comes up with those springs in there. Uh, same thing for coming down. I'm just going to use a finger to pull it down. Very easy to move that up and down, very controlled. So if there was some uh, freak system failure, you need to get out, you've lost air, um, move the lever, and just manually lift it up at that point. Just enough to clear ahead, or if you can, open it all the way up. Okay, so now we're gonna plug in the air, and we're gonna demonstrate the open and close, and then the locking feature that is here. That's all built in with the, with the single air system. You have this uh, it's kind of a regulator slash uh, flow restrictor. Uh, it's just there for temporary purposes. Uh, we probably will put a regulator into the system to actually bring the air pressure down. This one does not actually bring pressure down. It's more of a flow restrictor. I don't have enough of the actual true flow restrictors. Those will go on the air cylinder and at the valve so that there's flow restriction going both ways. Um, when this valve is moved between the positions, it will dump air. That um, So how close and quickly you move this lever will depend how fast this thing moves down. Um, that is the biggest consumption of air on this system is when this thing is cycling. Once it's completed its movement, then there's no further airflow and no further air consumption if, other than if there's a leak in the system, which we'll try to minimize or eliminate. So in the in-between positions, that's where it's dumping air, that's where it's consuming it. So we'll put this in the neutral position. And we'll plug this into shop air for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cycle this. We'll move this lever slow. Okay, so that confirms that's the up position. As we move it over to the other way, and then this comes up and locks in. Now, the faster I move this, the quicker this is going to go. So we'll bring it to the It does unlock right away because of the springs. It's not enough air pressure to quite open this yet as we continue to go. 
it opens right up. Now, you can move this fast. If I was sitting there, I definitely would not want this. That's why we want to put flow restrictors in. But it will close very quickly. It's locked. Uh, this bar is not going anywhere. The minute we release this though, that unlocks. And you can now move this. There is still air fresh, some air in the, in the air cylinder because it's in the neutral position. It's blocking air from moving. So this moves a little bit stiff, but not much. If you continue going, it then raises all the way up and holds. So again, uh, the faster we move this, the faster this goes. Locked in. Uh, because of the way this lock is positioned, this bar is locked as long as there is air pressure there. When you lose air pressure, that unlocks for you and that allows you to get out easy. So because of the mechanical springs are built into the system and utilizing gravity to push this back along with the spring, um, whether we were upside down or right side up, uh, if you move the valve to the end position, to the neutral position, or lose air, it unlocks for you. So you must have air pressure to keep it locked. Okay, so that's our safety bar. Uh, there will be seatbelt straps that attach here, and they'll go back and around here. There's a headrest and a shoulder rest here. Uh, and the reason for the seatbelt is when this closes, those seatbelt straps will come down over, and those will provide shoulder uh, restraint for the user in here. To further lock them in. There's the lockdown on the floor, of course, for the, the wheelchair, but there isn't a lot of otherwise support up here. So those shoulder straps will provide that upper body support when you're locked into this. Uh, and that's another reason why we want to make sure this always releases so that the user is not trapped into the chair from, from a safety standpoint. Um, so then those uh, safety belts are up and out of the way. Uh, you can see how fast that came up. That's why we want flow restrictors in there. That'll slow that right down. I don't have enough flow restrictors right now to get that into the system. Um, so that's something I'll have to get ordered and added to the system. Um, as you can see, right, we need those flow restrictors in there. So um, I do have the padding here that goes on that. Just haven't mounted that yet. Okay. That's all for now.